Archaeology is just like any other science. I mean, we develop hypotheses and we test them by collecting data in the world. Climb the pass in the snow on September 20th on the backs of deer. As an archaeologist, what I love about archaeology is going to a place to study that place and to study an archaeological site and doing systematic excavations and recovering things that humans left there that haven't been touched for, for thousands of years. When the first hominins, human ancestors, first made stone tools, that's the beginning of the archaeological record. Most of my work is in the Rocky Mountain region where humans first arrived around 13,000 years ago. I've also done research called ethnoarchaeology, which is studying living people to try to develop tools for interpreting the archaeological record, and that work brought me to Mongolia, northern Mongolia near the border with Russia and Siberia. Wind is blowing, it's snowing just past a big herd of horses. Been riding about three and a half hours now. Field research in Mongolia for me was traveling through the taiga or the coniferous forests at 7,000 feet near the border with Russia, riding on the backs of horses or reindeer, living with people who are living a life unlike any I had ever experienced, very indigenous lifestyle. Wyoming's past is the past of hunting and gathering peoples um, from 13,000 years ago until European contact. So it's a very, very rich record of hunting and gathering. And if you're a hunter-gatherer archeologist, it's a few, few places better to do archeology span than this place. You can imagine that when you're trying to understand the human past and you're doing it using Things that survive the ravages of the archaeological record, it can be really challenging. And if you think about what we'd find in archaeological sites in Wyoming, it's just the hard parts that, that survive. So most of what we find is stone tools and animal bones. So trying to reconstruct human societies from only those things that get through to the present, it's a really, really interesting intellectual challenge. People who are inquisitive, who are curious, who likes physical labor, who likes to be outside, who loves the outdoors, um, who likes hunting, who likes using their hands. That's the kind of person who should become an archaeologist. It's very different from lab work, which is in a much more controlled environment and for good reasons. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing or I'm gonna fall off this thing. It's a really amazing learning opportunity to learn by doing, actually learn by doing archaeology.